Founded in 1789, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill is the nation's oldest public university with a rich history of more than two centuries. And 2019 marks the 100th anniversary of the founding of the business school. But how did we get here? Hello, my name is Jack Evans. I joined the faculty at UNC Keenan Flagler Business School in 1970, was dean from 1978 to 87, and interim dean three times after that. Today, I will talk to you about the history of the school, the Keenan and Flagler families, and how we have grown to be one of the leading business schools in the world. This building, Old East, was the tangible beginning of the university. James Keenan was one of the original trustees of the University of North Carolina. He was a general in the Revolutionary War and an early senator of the state of North Carolina. The University of North Carolina had just over 1,000 students enrolled as undergraduates in the fall of 1917. Some 60 percent of UNC graduates were moving into some kind of business upon leaving Chapel Hill, and University President Edward Graham sought to implement a four-year program that would teach sound business principles. In 1919, the president asked an economics professor named Dudley Carroll to organize a Department of Commerce, and that new venture was headquartered in the attic here in Alumni Hall. First offering a doctoral degree in 1928 here in Saunders Hall, now Carolina Hall, the school's PhD program today contributes to research on business topics and prepares young people for faculty careers. The early curriculum included classes in accounting, insurance, finance, labor issues, and foreign trade. Some lectures were given by key business executives from the state and across the South. Students between their junior and senior years spent their summers working as interns in businesses they might be interested in pursuing for their careers, a practice that continues today. By 1920, the school had grown from 125 to 140 upperclassmen, and 30% of the incoming freshman class declared a commerce major. By then, it was the second largest major, so they moved to Saunders Hall and then here to Bingham Hall by 1929 and thus business education at Carolina was up and running. In 1950, the school was renamed the School of Business Administration, and by 1953, we moved here to Carroll Hall and stayed here until 1997. During this time, some wonderful things happened. In 1952, we launched an MBA program. Then in 1985, we established the Master of Accounting program. And today, both of these programs are available online, providing elite business education to students anywhere in the world. In 1954, we created the Executive Program. This was our first venture in educating working professionals. Then in 1986, the evening Executive MBA program began. It was so successful that weekend and global executive MBA programs were soon added. The living proof of our success in educating executives is the newly expanded Paul J. Rizzo Center at Meadowmont. It is here that our corporate relationships are furthered between the school's faculty and business executives worldwide. So by now, you must be wondering who exactly are Keenan and Flagler and how did the business school acquire its name? Well, in 1991, the school took on the names of Keenan and Flagler to honor two families that were giants in business and industry in the 1800s and early 1900s. Together, they have provided generous funding to the university in Chapel Hill to further education in general, but business education in particular. William Rand Keenan, Jr was an 1894 Carolina graduate in chemistry whose scientific acumen helped him become a key player in the early worldwide expansion of the Union Carbide Company. In 1899, Keenan made the acquaintance of Henry Morrison Flagler, who had made a fortune with his partner John D. Rockefeller in the formation of Standard Oil Company. They became friends and partners 
and were linked further when Flagler married Kenan's sister, Mary Lilly. Mary Kenan Flagler passed away in 1917, and her estate established the Kenan Professorship Endowment, which was a very important resource for the university during the Great Depression and continuing today. William R. Keenan would later provide funds to the university to build Keenan Memorial Stadium in the 1920s. And upon his death in 1965, his estate created the William R. Keenan Jr. Charitable Trust. Frank Keenan, a cousin of William R. Keenan and 1935 business graduate of Carolina, created a successful business career in Durham and Chapel Hill over the mid-1900s. And under Frank Keenan's stewardship, the Keenan and Flagler names remain dedicated to the leadership and support of the business school. The Frank Hawkins Keenan Institute of Private Enterprise was founded in 1985 to bring business, academics, and government together to explore problems of mutual interest and to promote better understanding. Then in 1987, the Keenan Center opened here to house this worthy enterprise. It was the first building built on what was to become the business school campus and it gave the school national prominence. UNC's Kenan Flagler Business School moved into its new home on the South Campus in 1997. The main structure was named for Hugh McCall, a 1957 business school graduate. By the time of his retirement in 2001, McCall had led a small bank named NCNB into a national banking force now known as Bank of America. Building on our core values, excellence, leadership, integrity, community, and teamwork, UNC Keenan Flagler has evolved into one of the world's most prominent business schools. Now on the cusp of its 100th birthday, UNC Keenan Flagler is highly sought by undergraduates, master's candidates, PhD candidates, and executives. We aspire to build UNC Keenan Flagler into the best business school in the world a worthy mission for the dawn of the school's second century.